Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. It's daytime, so I'm sleeping as expected. Got our roofs raised. Got life going pretty okay right now. A little low on meals. I'd like to make meals a higher priority here. I understand why we do the butchering. I do. I promise you that. Just have plenty of salted meat, which is pretty great. Not gonna lie. But we need more meals to make it. You know, Volpe's making a meal right now. She's working on these simple meals, but I think we need another another stove up in here, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these bad boys over here. We're gonna set up a second stove. I think that's the way life has to go right now. So we just don't have enough cooking going on. There we go. Set you up there. It'll be good. It'll be perfect. It could even be professional, but we'll, we'll know that later. I do feel like I should move the butcher table, maybe. I mean, I could move it directly into here. The only downside to that is that it would be less efficient because it would be cold in here. But I think that might be the easiest way to do it nonetheless. Yeah, I'm going to move that in here. And then we'll move this stove. Party time. Well, I guess it's not getting done now because it's Brexio's birthday party. Then we'll move the stove down here so that it's kind of in a better position that way. I suppose our mechanics cabinet's not going to do much here, is it? Also, I put in this so I could do jerk meat orders. I want to do like, I don't know, 30 jerk meats at all time. Sounds about good. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to have jerk meats in here. More of them, I should say. Dry berries are unnecessary, but at least jerk meats don't count as raw food. How's the party going? Oh, you're partying up here. You're partying with our guest. Cool. That's why I put the party spots up here. It's pretty great. Did we check out our guest here already? I'm pretty sure we did. Hubba, Stin, One San, Wings... Gabe, Bite, Pandy. Yeah, we're trying to recruit Pandy if we can. Because Pandy has that animal skill and medicine skill. You know, having someone with good animal skill would actually be great because then someone like Volpe, who also does good animal skill but also does good cooking, could concentrate on the cooking instead of messing with the animals all day. I mean, she's already set to handle animals at a one. You know what? I'm going to lower that right now to a two. Lower butchering to a two as well. Triple strike, your cooking can be at a one, though. Yeah, get those priorities a little bit straighter for me, I think. We'll see how that works out in the long run. Either way, it's nighttime. It's like almost midnight here. We're charming the pants off, Bite. Please don't take your pants off. Desmus is 77 today. He doesn't look a day over 33, though. He's looking good. He's feeling good, I'm sure. Our batteries are full. It's raining. Reynolds wearing tattered clothing. It's great. It's not that great. It's that shield belt, unfortunately. So, you know what? I'll let him take it off here. There you go. Oh, it's in terrible condition. Why does it say 43% when it's obviously at... Well, I guess 13 out of 30 would be 43%. That's why. You can do numbers. That You've done numbers before. I... That means I do want to get him another shield belt, though. Holy cow, we got so many things working on up here. d right Vasilla, and she has two things, actually, she's working on. That's okay, because we have 400 components. We have the components for these. Can we make shield belts yet? I think I need to research those specifically, don't I? Yeah. Pretty sure those need to be researched uniquely. They're smoke pop belts. I see that. Those are not awesome. I mean, they could be okay, but I'm not a huge fan. Right now, we're researching directed magno electromagnetic pulse, which actually should not take very long at all. Here's shield belts. So I think I'm going to place that after electromagnetic pulse so that we can get a good shield belt from a man, Reynold, because he deserves it. 
Don't you dare tell me otherwise. Why are you all sleeping on the ground when you got a whole bed right here? One big old giant bed. All right. Things are moving. Sandra's got it going on. Switch you around. Copy all this. Paste it here with a link between the two. They absolutely enjoyed our stay. We got ferret silk. We got quick line pitch. We got meat. We got vegan egg substitute. You can take that back with you. I get, we got a damaged sombrero. What's not the love? We did not get our recruit, but you know what? Faction Goodwill's at 100%. What more can you ask for in life? For Reynold to have a ranged weapon? Nah. He's a brawler, man. He doesn't need that crap. He just needs to keep his skill up. Which, let's be real, he's doing really good at it. Really, really good. Now, someone did suggest that, hey, why don't you put your... Your... This stuff... In... Here. And you know what? Just because that's a smart thing... Doesn't mean that I should do it. But I will because it's a smart thing. So. Let's throw down... Some long... Heavy duty shelving. We'll make it out of bone. And we'll put like... I don't know. Perfect. Okay. And we'll just... Fill that sucker up. I guess we can make it out of adobe to match the decor, huh? Yeah, we can do that. Might as well have it all match. Adobe bricks, please. Transform our hay into something that's even hayier. I said hayier. What are you going to do about it? Okay. Life seems to be pretty good right now. I saw a damaged animal. Blimp, what happened to you? You little two-year-old. Oh, wow. You've lost a kidney. You've lost a paw. You fought a, a rat. That's what happened, though. You also got cut in the neck. Not a fan of that. I'm going to be honest with you. Someone help out this cat? He writes on it. It's like, yo, cat, you got messed up, man. Make you a little bit happier. There you go. Feeling good. Directed EMPs are done. You can make an anti... Basically an anti... Uh, mechanoid weapon. Yeah, make an EMP rifle. Eight components. And some steel and plasteel. We are good on both of those. We're not great on plasteel, but we're good on plasteel. And mine these three sections out for me if you could be so kind to do so. Eventually we'll get this stuff moved and we can expand over to the right some someday. Right now we really don't need to. We're pretty good on everything. Our meat situation is lovely. We just uh, rocked another elephant here. So this does connect to both of these, which is good. This doesn't connect to anything. I could put it in here to have it connect to the butcher table and make it more efficient again. Or I could see what else is available. And I don't think there is anything else available to connect this to. I think we are all efficiented up. If that is a, it is not a phrase, but that's the phrase I'm using. Yeah. This one is redundant at this point. So I guess we'll put it in here. It loses us a little bit of room in the freezer, but that's not the worst thing in the world. You know, worst case scenario, I expand out to here with the freezer, and we're fine. And I could expand similarly with the kitchen if I needed to, but I don't really need to. Party! This is his birthday party. Holding up here. We got these turrets. They're pretty great. This one's not getting repaired. You know what? We can consider turrets inside the... Not the... Well, yeah, we should consider all of this home area, actually. It all needs to be repaired on the regular. These two, not so much. But if it's connected to our base, yeah, please. Please, give it your love. Arter hunting an elephant. Doesn't even care. Oh, my lord. This guy's got the hunger. He's got the hunger. Look at this. Let's go, Arter. Come on, man. You're bigger than that stinking elephant. You lost. You, you lost the elephant. And it's not even going to bleed out. Why are you hitting it with your legs? 
Because your jaw's broken? Don't give me that crap. Bite it! Alright, well. That's fun. Uh, Sation. Eat your stew. And then let's have someone uh, save Arter. Someone's got to do it. Also, you're all restricted to the home area. Probably don't need that right now. I don't think it hurts. Because there's a lot of stuff to do inside of our base, but... It's not really something we need at this point in our lives. Okay. I see Dismas. He's done the good things for us. It's perfect. It could even be professional. Let's be real. But, more importantly, it's good quality. Except for this one. This one's normal. Anyway. Storage. Clear all. Clear all. Clear all. Items. Body parts. Artificial. Not... Natural ones. Copy settings. Paste settings. Oh, I should probably make it so that it's, uh, like, critical. Copy. Paste. All right. You picking up what I'm putting down here, folks? I suppose regular livers don't actually go away either, do they? I don't know why I thought they had to be refrigerated. So, you know what? All body parts. Done. All right, those will get moved over eventually. We got our repairs done, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Go, Frenzy. Panda's been inspired. She's gonna make some awesome, like, movement. Bulpy is older. Archer can walk again. He's not been patched up, though. Say, Station, why? I mean, to be fair, got some, we got some hours. So, we got some time, but wake up soon, please. In fact, as soon as you wake up, go ahead and tend to Arthur. Once you wake up. Why do you keep ending the queue? I don't understand. Someone's going to do this, right? Someone's going to help our dinosaur not die. He's gotten an infect. Okay, station. Reynolds on it. You know what? I trust Reynold. Where's the infection? In his body. That's specific. Nice to know. Arthur gets our best medicine. I just noticed that. No. Herbal medicine's fine. I want Arthur to live. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's a race against the clock. I'm so mad at station right now. I am so mad at Station. You don't even realize. Why did she rescue him and then not tend to him? I mean, I know why. Because the time said it was time to go to sleep. Instead of time to have common sense. But I'm mad, man. I'm mad. But at least we got 400 Allosaurus meat out of it. I'm not happy about this. I'm actually miffed. There you go. See, our hospital's full of this stuff now. Apparently, memes and uh, Brexios are getting married now. Everyone's gathering to celebrate. It's another occasion for a party. I swear, we have parties every day at this point. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty great. Worst things have happened. Get in position, Triple Strike. There you go. Nice shot of... Uh, Everyone in the colony right here. How's it actually going? Hmm. Max, get out of the picture. There you go. There they are. Memes and Brexios are married. May they have many happy days together. Okay. It's good. It's very good. How's everyone else doing? What in the world is on your head, Brexios? A carpus helmet. Made from an insect. Okay. Apparently it's better than nothing. Whatever works for you, man. Panda also popping the top hat. Pretty great. Apparently Panda and Volpe get along pretty well. Mames obviously gets along well with uh, Brexio. Gets along with Pepsi, Vasilla, D. 
okay with Reynold, although Reynold doesn't really return the favor. We're not huge fans of each other. Also, doesn't like Gigi a lot either. Seishin doesn't like Triple Strike. Or memes, apparently. Or myself, apparently, because that disfigured. Big fan of Senpai, though. Also likes Vasilla quite a bit, too. Senpai. Ooh, lots of people he likes. A couple people he really dislikes. And now it's a birthday party as well. Most of us get along pretty well. I mean, let's look at the colonist map here. Flip that sucker into a circle. Yeah, we got some actual, like, relations and stuff going on. So, let's take a look here. Is there a legend? I wanted to say there was a legend that told us what was what. But I believe the blue is married. Because you see they're, they're married. Green is friends. Red is rivals. And no color means no real strong relationship either way. So you see, Senpai has plenty of friends. Vasilla and Silvermane actually apparently get along very well. Yeah. Sandra and Vasilla get along really well too, but they don't consider each other friends, apparently. It's weird. I guess it's because it's not above 50. Memes just got married, of course. D. Wright and Reynold do not like each other. More that Reynold doesn't like D. Wright, but still. There's some intense dislike going on there. And this is just a freaking mess. But anyway. In case you wanted a quick snapshot of how we're getting along with each other. That's a story for you. Alright, that marriage is over. Now it's time to celebrate Volpe's birthday party, because today is a busy day. Heck yeah. I forgot I put the marriage spot under here. I actually forgot about that. All the parties are done. We're eating stew for days. We still have stew left over after all this. Which is great because, you know, you get that uh, blood filtration and blood pumping out of it. It's actually a really, really good thing to eat. Muffalo is giving birth. What more could you ask for? Don't answer that because I know the answer. Do we have a regular Bionics worth bench yet? No, we don't. Why don't we? Dude, let's rock this sock. I guess because I'm not entirely sure where to put it. But, you know, what we could do is have it, like, back-to-back -back with this thing. I feel like I need to get a bigger factory room. Oh, we need to actually build... Maybe we can like build over here and make this a factory area and then repurpose this for something else. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go cuz we need a we need a bigger room for building stuff. Okay. Well, there's our next project in case you were wondering. I'll just uh, go like this and then shoot that down there. Now do I want to bring all of this into the colony? I mean, it doesn't hurt. The concept doesn't hurt. And it only takes a second to deconstruct all this. So you know what? Let's do it. Alright. Get all that deconstructed. We'll just move it straight down to here. Connect it to this wall right here. And then we won't need this anymore. So we can close that up and figure out what to do there. Obviously I want this still to be like the only real way in and out. Alright. Basilla just... Pumping that stuff out. Okay. That'll connect all that good stuff. Deep drill resources exhausted. I almost missed that. We're going to go ahead and actually just uninstall this one. Got to keep a couple of those, right? Steel walls going up in here. I'm going to upgrade this from a regular hall to a hall urgently. We don't really have a place to put it, so I tell you what, let's rock new dumping stockpile zone just like up here for now. And that'll be great. Everyone is in a great mood. 98%. Everyone is happy. What more do you need? All right. Yeah, get all this stuff out of here. Thank you, team. I appreciate the effort. They're actually really good at this. Beautiful. Okay. 
Next, we finish off this section on the wall, then we deconstruct over here to get us in, and we will start building a new factory. Now, in order to start that, we are going to need power over there. So, and that, oh, that's going to be easy. We already have power up to here. Memes getting us some more jade. Appreciate the effort. Okay, that's all done. Deconstruct all this. You don't want to deconstruct over here yet. Oh, we can we can de deconstruct over there. Yeah, go ahead and do that. We are fine on textiles. This is fine right here. It's really just the factory work that we're not fine on. Okay. Now to build a building. And I think a factory building, you need to make it out of steel. I'm thinking something like yay high, yo big. That was one too far. That was too, too far. I'm not the smartest man. There you go. Then, of course, we'll need some doors. I'm gonna double steal it. Double steal it. Right there. Do we need an exit door? No. But I'm going to build one anyway. I'm going to build one down here. It'll be triple wide. I actually am curious to see if a triple wide door is a thing. And all of this can be built with no problem because we can already enter an exit right here. So that's great. Yo, Dismas. Building steel wall. Good. Wrong location, but good. I want all of this steel wall done first. Shield belt's done. I didn't even see it happen. So what's next? Grenade launchers? You make literal grenade. You can make an automated grenade launcher? Dude. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. Can we get these walls d here done, please? Dismas. I want these done. Because, you know, base... Danger. Could be could be bad. Alright, we are gonna need to put defenses over here as well. But for now, I suppose this LMG can just scoot over here. Maybe just as well. Beautiful. Alright, go frenzy. Nice. Uh let's let's put in an order for a shield belt. I just want one. I want it to be made by Gigi, because I want it to be as good as possible. It does take uranium, and I think we have 152 of it, so nothing to worry about. I want to make sure that this is not going to get roofed. It is not. I can remove the uh, roof area priority. No, no. I can ignore the roof area priority here for now. I'm eventually going to want this roofed. It might require a post in the middle to have the whole thing roofed, but that's okay if it does. We have double walls here. This is redundant. Make it a little bit bigger. We can store even more stuff in here. That's great. We can also cut these down and turn it into regular walls for now. Panda's 18 today. Volpe and Dismas are celebrating their marriage anniversary. Life is good here on the rim. I don't know if you knew this. I mean, we lost. We did lose Arthur. And we did actually cut him up in the meat. You may think that was disrespectful. I humbly disagree. We've used him well. We have made it so that hey, it does turn into a three sot, three large door. We have made good use of a good friend. His death will certainly not be in vain. That's how I see it. You're free to disagree, but I disagree with your disagreement. All right. There you go. Get that well connected to the grid, and then we can move these bad boys over. Yeah, we can just reinstall most of these, I believe. I think pretty much everything here can be just picked up and moved. Except for these. Which hurts. Oh, this thing can't be moved? Oh no, I gotta build a copy of this crafting spot that goes up instantly. How terrible. Put in some flooring in here. I'm thinking stone is the most appropriate. Do we have marble? Do we even have marble? We do have make marble blocks as an order. Oh, you know what? We don't have marble. Let's get some marble. We have limestone. We don't have any marble. 
make some marble flooring in there. Why not? Let's see. Easy to build and functional. That's pretty good. Eye catching. That's pretty good too. Random paving. I mean, that's nice. Like marble tiles. It'll take forever, but we got time. And then, of course, we need to more floors, random paving, sandstone, get all this done. We're going to make this double wide because we can. And then have it go down here. And then scoot around here. You know what? We'll just tile all this up. Buffalo Calf 2 is now named Pepe, and we have advanced grenades. So we can make some regular grenades, finally. There you go. All the way around there. Lots of work to do. You know, keep it going. There you go. Ooh, we need some sandstone flagstone down here. There you go. Okay. Good stuff. We can expand this stockpile as well. Bada bing, bada boom. It's beautiful. All right, so we're going to have a huge factory. Let's see if we can roof the whole thing. You know the first thing you're going to try. Yeah, they're going to start roofing. Okay, that was my concern. Easy enough to fix. We put in a single... Well, we put in, like, a group of posts here. We say work on it. All right. Not bad at all. So we're going to be digging out some marble. Let's actually put that above the coal for now. We're out of coal. Oh, we're, that's right. We're turning it into other stuff, too. Dude, so many parties. All right, one of these got up. So we can finish the roofing there with that. Inspired recruitment. He will successfully recruit the next prisoner regardless of difficulty. It lasts for eight days. That's actually amazing? Like, holy crap? Also, embrasure door. No, not an embrasure door. Regular door. Steel door right here, I think. Let us walk out that way. We can put some uh, defenses on each side. Normal defenses, of course. I think it'll be pretty good. All right, so that's done. And then we can have that entire area roofed. Awesome. EMP rifle is done. That actually didn't take any time at all. Where it be, yo? Right? No, this is a scatter charger. Which is still good. Who do I want to have a close ranged weapon? I mean, anyone who does good melee. Like. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for D-Right. D-Right, go ahead and pick this up as your primary weapon. The EMP rifle is infused with homing? Dude. Pepsi, are you a brawler? No, you just like shooting. You know what? Take this EMP rifle instead of your pistol. What's the... 80% except at very long range? Pretty good. Pretty good. There it is. Oh, no, stop. I want this as a sidearm still. Cool. Regular grenade launchers are already done. Let's learn how to make packaged survival meals. Sure. Pepsi, I want to see this tested out. Shoot it at... It shoots as a... What? Oh, it pops! That's awesome! She is the freaking mechanoid destroyer now. I can give someone else this assault rifle now. Someone who does not do melee. Actually, you know what? Memes? I've been rap rocking this crappy gun for a long time. Pick this up after you wake up from your nap. All right. And that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 18. Factories coming together. We're going to build it. It's going to be perfect. It could even be professional, but we'll find that out when it's done. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more RimWorld because it's going to keep coming. And you know it won't stop coming.
turn that off right there. Thanks again for watching this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. I have five seconds of silence when we get to 30 minutes. It's cheating that you can't just make your video go longer to make it 30 minutes. You liar!